hot Ola party people. Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jazz and in this video I'm going to be doing my very first rant on a TV show though. That's right. Aha. I don't just do movies. I do TV shows too. I already have a few like really popular shows that I'm watching but because it's not the first episode I don't really want to just jump in and start making full videos about them now. Um, those of you that have come over from my family's vlog channel, Daily Dose, thanks for being here, I appreciate you. You guys already know how my situation goes. But we were able to catch Are You The One Second Chances on MTV from the beginning. So I am going to be ranting on this show every week because Are You The One drives me absolutely crazy. I think it's a great opportunity. It's the easiest reality show on the planet. On the planet, right? If you're watching this, I assume you already watched Are You The One? If not, real quick, I'll give you a quick breakdown of the show so that explaining this next one makes more sense. Anyway, 20 people in a house. Sometimes they switch it up. One time there was an 11th girl. This last season, they had 11 couples instead of 10. But what happens is you have 10 guys, 10 girls, they come into the house. The whole premise of the show is if your perfect match was standing right in front of you, would you even know it? Now what they do is they bring people, like the people that they cast for the show are people that suck at relationships, right? So they're definitely not gonna be the ones that know it, and that's what happens. They come in the house, they see somebody, and they're like, ooh, what's up? And they're like, ooh, hi. And then they're hooking up and being gross after they've known each other for five minutes. Then they go on a getaway date, go in the truth booth, find out they're not a perfect match, and they still continue to hook up which ruins the whole system. The whole point is to play the game, figure out who you love, figure out who loves you, the person you're supposed to be matched with, stay with them, and everybody wins. We win a million dollars. Million dollars, 50 Gs a piece. We're going to Hawaii, partying, going on dope, like adventurous dates, and at the very least, leaving with like a new cool friend of the opposite sex, right? Like you don't have to stay with them. Just Play the game. You wanna hook up with people in the house after? Hook up with them and be gross when you leave. Not while you're there and ruining everybody else's money. This last season that just went off, those idiots are the first people in Are You The One history to not finish and get the money. You had one job. One job! It's the most frustrating thing I've ever seen in my life. But I can't look away, you guys. I can't look away. I can't stop watching it. So I was conflicted when they said they were gonna do a spinoff. They were like, oh yeah, are you the one? Second chances. What? I was like, these dum dums don't deserve a second chance. They didn't win the money this time. Why do they get a second chance to win money another time? Whatever. So I decided wasn't gonna watch it. No, not watching it. They suck. They gave me anxiety for an entire season. I don't wanna watch these people again. But then I watched the trailer and I was like, oh, it's not just the people from this season, it's people from the other seasons too. How Are You The One Second Chances works is perfect matches from the five Are You The One seasons got invited to be on this show and they have a joint bank account. So as they go through different challenges in the different episodes, money is getting put into their joint bank account. Obviously the idea is to stay the whole time and then split the money in the end. Easy enough, right? I was mind blown when I saw the first episode because I loved the whole like amazing race aspect of it. Like what? We're gonna race to the house and there's clues and all this stuff and we're in Australia and we don't know what's going on. It was just awesome. It was exciting and adventurous and just a great way to kick off the season. I thought it was so dope. So then the last couple to make it to the house, oh, kind of gross, I just scratched my eye. You guys are probably like, you're so weird. You literally scratched your eye. I'm sorry, it itches. Better now. Okay, so you're getting to know the couples, all this stuff as they're racing to get to the house. Last couple to get to the house is automatically put up for elimination. I was like, oh snap, okay, that's interesting. I wonder how this is gonna work. Well, the rest of the house votes in another couple to be up against the slowpoke couple for elimination. So I was like, all right, they're probably gonna bring it to a house vote. Nope, not that simple. What happens is, is the couple that got voted in gets up on a stage while everybody's sitting there watching and they have a little tower in front of them, like a little little monitor, and there's a steal button and there's a share button. Pot twist! 
Love a good plot twist. Steal, steal what? Steal the money from our joint bank account? Yes, that's exactly what you're stealing. If one person, if the guy decides that he wants to steal, he gets to take all the money they've collected up to that point and she leaves with nothing. If she decides she's going to share and he's gonna share, then they get to stay in the house, they get to keep working together, and the other team that's up for elimination goes home. If they both hit the steal button, neither of them get their money, they leave empty handed, and the team they were up against for elimination gets the money from that bank account into their bank account. Crazy. Now, first episode, you know, wasn't very, wasn't very dramatic. I feel like, uh, I feel like the whole Hayden situation is just, is a bit much. It's a bit much for me. I thought because him and Gianna are actually together in real life that, you know, he was gonna take the money and run, but he didn't do that. They decided that they were gonna share and everything was fine, whatever. But the trailer implies that there's gonna be some scandalous behavior going on in the coming weeks of the show. So I'm really, really excited. If you watch the Are You The One reunion from this last season, um, then you got to see that the turn up was definitely real. I do not like Alicia from Are You The One season five. She is a harlot demon and I can't stand her. I also don't like Gio from Are You The One season four and guess what? They're hooking up in the Are You The One Second Chances house. They deserve each other because they're both awful, terrible people, but whatever. So I'm really hoping that both of them leave expeditiously because I don't want to look at their faces. I don't want to hear Gio being a crybaby. I don't want to see Alicia throwing herself all over people. Like, girl, bye. Nobody has time. I don't, I'm not interested. But. Other than Alicia and Gio being a part of the cast, I'm actually really, really excited for the season. There is one couple that was a perfect match that actually stayed together. They're actually still in a relationship. So I'm excited to see how they do. I'm interested to see if they crumble being on TV and like putting money in the mix of things. We'll have to see. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, that'll do it for my rant on Are You The One? Second Chances. They'll definitely get a lot deeper and probably a lot more hostile and angry as the season progresses, but this is the first episode, so it's still it's still pretty chill. Um, I am a big Survivor fan. Obviously, Game Changers has started already, so it'd be weird to start ranting on it now. Once a new season does start up, I will definitely be talking about that. I'm also a Big Brother fan, so this summer, woo! That will definitely be included in this series. So let me know if there are any new series that are starting up that you know are coming like in the coming weeks. Drop the premiere night in the comment section, the title of the show, and if you know the network that it's gonna be on so that I can check it out, look into it, and see if I'm going to make it a part of the series. As always, I appreciate all of you guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, of the content on this channel, hit that subscribe button. I love you and appreciate you all. Until next time, God first, God bless.